patrons of the Hard Rock Cafe at Young Dundas Square raising a glass tonight. It's their last chance to say goodbye to the iconic restaurant and music venue. Well, I think it's really sad. I've been coming here since it opened. I haven't been here in a few years, but um, I was here a couple summers ago for Def Leppard. Come by when I can, when I'm in Toronto, and I'm going to miss this place. Yeah, so I thought I'd come and have one last call, last call at the Hard Rock. Was up for the Toronto institution, and the building's owner wanted to double the rent from one million to more than two million dollars a year. Management had no choice but to shut down. A shopper's drug mart will replace it by the end of the year. You feeling a little nostalgic about the place? Oh, uh, extremely, extremely. I really don't know what to say right now. You come here quite often. Almost or? every single week on a Friday, we would be here. It's just such a good nice place to come. Oh. Yeah, and now that it's shutting down, we had to come for the last oh, time, right, sweetie? Right, yeah. I was saying this earlier, kind of annoyed, kind of feel like all of uh, the big Toronto landmarks got taken over by drugstores. Dozens of celebrities and high-profile rock bands have performed at the Hard Rock since it opened in 1978. Tonight's swan song is a fundraiser featuring women who rock to benefit Because I Am a Girl Canada. Sean Hillman has been bringing in acts to the Hard Rock every month for the last seven years. It's, it's sad to see the place go. It's been here for 40 years. Yeah. I mean, Bob Dylan met his band here through Ronnie Hawkins. A lot of historic things have happened here and a lot of great acts have come through here. And we're losing venues in the city and I think we need to, uh, as music lovers and musicians band together to make sure that these venues stay alive. There's going to be a lot of sad people here tonight, though. Yeah, we're probably going to be crying by the end of the night. I mean, I know I will. I'm a crier, yeah. but... The restaurant will be open until 5 tomorrow, at which point there will be a going away party for staff, where people who both worked and performed there over the decades are expected to attend.